Gonzalo Ramos looks like he is just bursting to get out of Portugal and into some massive team like Barcelona, Real Madrid, Liverpool, Man City. But the next 10 years are going to be crucial. Let's check him out. Gonzalo Ramos is at Benfica right now. He is a striker with an AMC possibility. Uh, 21 years old, Portuguese. He looks like he is just fantastic. His potential, I believe, is around 162, 165, somewhere around there, uh, with the winner update at least. Rated at 13.5 to 41 million, 15K per week, not too bad. He is just a squad player. Uh, last season, I believe, if we go to his career stats quickly, last season was his first real breakout season. Uh, I mean, four in 2021, one in 20 in 1920. So last year was definitely his breakout season, and he's really only going to be pushing from here on out. He's got some good numbers, uh, not amazing numbers, but definitely numbers that look like they should, if they grow well, uh, he's going to do amazingly. Finishing 14, first touch and dribbling of 13, heading of 15, so he's nice and tall. Um, long throws, marking, he's not great at. Positioning, he's not great at, so that's a problem. But teamwork of 16, work rate of 15, he's got a lot of fantastic numbers. And if they grow, whoo, this, this boy's ceiling is through the roof. He only currently has three milestones to his name. However, he's made his senior club debut for Benfica B. He's also made his debut for Benfica, scored his first uh, senior club uh, goal, and then got the Euro Under-19 Championship Golden Boot. So he's got one trophy already to his name. But like I said, the next 10 years is going to be absolutely crucial, and I really want to see where he ends up. So let's check it out. Well, 10 years on, and he has actually moved around quite a bit. He's gone from Benfica to Bayern to Man City to now Madrid. So you can see still natural in that strike position. He has grown in that AMC, accomplished now. He is 31 years old, 28 to 83 million, earning 425k per week as a regular starter. Yeah, his career has gone pretty much straight north. Uh, his, I mean, his numbers still look fantastic. A lot less greens than I would have anticipated. Acceleration pace, pace 15 is great. Acceleration of 13 is a little lower. Uh, finishing of 15, first touch of 14, dribbling still 13. Um, so, I mean, passing, penalty taking, technique of 15. Uh, teamwork has actually gone down, as is work rate. So it is interesting to see that uh, the numbers aren't where I thought they would be, but he's still having a fantastic career. I mean... Two seasons in Man City, probably as a squad player. We'll take a look in a minute. Three seasons at the Bayern route, really didn't play at all. But moved to Spain and has been flourishing. You can see La Liga, 29 plus 5 appearances, 20 goals and 2 assists, 714 average rating. Uh, Champions League, 10 plus 2, 5 goals, 3 assists, only 695. But still, career, uh, career stats. You can see Benfica all the way through the 26-27 season, played really well, very nicely. Moved to Germany for four, 46 and a half million. Three seasons there, I mean, five only five appearances, but seven six eight five appearances seven seven two something must have happened there. Ninety nine million dollar move or pound move to Man City, that is insane. But only spent two seasons there, not doing the greatest, I will say. He looks like he was pretty much a squad player, loaned out to Atletico Madrid, bought by Atletico Madrid the next season thirty seven and a half million, uh, and has been doing very well for for Madrid, I have to say. So he does have this one major injury, broken lower leg out for five months. That is a doozy. I mean, that's pretty much, I mean, that's why at least one of those seasons at Bayern, he only had five appearances, but still the rest of it, I'm not sure what was going on that I believe the 26, 27 season he didn't, I mean, he only still had five appearances, but not really sure why 26, 27. Yeah. Bought and then five appearances and that's it had a broken leg, five appearances there. But otherwise, you know, he's got a lot of minors and some slights, two or three moderates and a major. So injury proneness, he's not all that injury prone. When he gets one, most likely it's not going to be too much, a couple of days, you know, maybe a week. But every now and again, you're going to get something a little bit more. Uh, and if we, when we go to his retirement date, we'll definitely see that in action. If we look at his milestone, he has a lot of them. Uh, you can see named best 11s. Portuguese Premier League top goal scorer runner up, Portuguese Premier League young player of the year, first international goal against Finland. So he's got some caps that we need to look at. Uh, more seasonal best 11s. Again, Portuguese top goal scorer runner up, young player of the year. Uh, he's been young player of the year. Wow, three years in a row. Top, finally gets the top goal scorer in the Premier League, in the Portuguese Premier League. Tasha Liga winners. 
Uh, he's continuing bought by Bayern, Bundesliga champions, DP Pokal champions. I mean, he obviously it's Bayern. What do you expect? Bought my Man City, Premier League champions, Emirate FA Cup. He's got a ton of team trophies in his bank. As I mean, he also got a lot of personal ones as well. Spanish first division, top goal scorer, third place, FIFA World Cup winners with Portugal. Right there, I'm guessing Ronaldo is not playing in 30. Uh, but so Spanish first division, top goal scorer, third place, Spanish first division, top goal scorer, runner up, and then finally breaks the chain. The Spanish first division, top goal scorer, gets that trophy and has a lot to his name. I mean, he's been doing a fantastic job. You can see global superstar, eight winners medals for him, uh, team trophies. He's been recognized a bunch of times personally. He definitely has quite a, stor a storied history. Uh, and yeah, let's check out when he's going to retire and see what happens with that. Well, 2036 is when he retires. It does not say here. It plans to say anywhere yet. Plans to retire at the end of the 36th season. And as you can see, he is at Barcelona, only rated at 200 to 600K, 250K per week until this end of the season. He's only in an impact sub. 34 years old, seems young to retire. Uh, but as you can see, I mean, he's made his way through the top charts of European football. Uh, and I guess doesn't really want to play a part in some smaller team or MLS, Turkey League, somewhere like that. But overall, his stats are still there. He's got some more greens to his name, composure, off the ball, and vision, technique of 16 still there, but acceleration and pace are down. They're just dropping. So I can see why he would want to retire. He's had a fantastic career, even as an impact sub, 250K per week. Wow, I would love that. But uh, you could see he did play Atletico Madrid until the previous season, moved on to, actually, you know what? Moved on on a free to Barcelona. Only six appearances, six, seven, uh, six, nine, seven. Not too bad, but still, yeah, I can see why he's wanting to retire now. As you could see, the last couple of seasons, Copa del Rey winners, uh, first division top goal scorer, best 11s, European golden shoe, which is nice. Released on a free, signed by Barcelona, Super Cup uh, de España winners. So yeah, he's still got a couple more trophies in his cabinet. Not too bad. Injury wise, yeah, I mean, a couple more moderates, things like that. But the career of Gonzalo Ramos looks pretty nice. Uh, he has definitely been on an upward spiral. Bayern, Man City, Madrid, Barcelona. He's been all over the place. So anyway, that is the career of Gonzalo Ramos. I am Sefin FM for the Football Manager Blog Channel saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.